Hi there, I'm Toby Danilchuk, and today we are tackling a challenge that many small business owners face, which is making the most of a tight Google Ads budget. Whether you're a solo entrepreneur, a team of 10, or a company with 100 employees, I've got some game-changing strategies to maximize your ad budget. You don't need a massive budget to conquer the Google Ads arena. And with smart strategies and a little ingenuity, businesses like yours can outshine the competition and achieve remarkable results. In this video, I'll share 10 proven low-budget Google ad strategies tailored to small and medium-sized businesses. We'll show you how to maximize your return on investment, attract the right customers, and drive meaningful growth, all without breaking the bank. But before I get into the heart of this video, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Toby Danilchuk with 39 Celsius Web Marketing Consulting, and I've been actively involved with digital marketing for over 20 years. And I've successfully managed thousands of Google ad campaigns nationwide. Also, if you find the video helpful, please give me a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more actionable digital marketing tips. And if you need help with your digital marketing for your business, please reach out to me and my team now at 951-444-0174 or email me at toby at 39celsius.com. Okay, back to the content. First, let's build a solid foundation with three foundational elements you should be leveraging consistently. Then, I'll provide you with 10 targeted ad hacks and tips to squeeze the most results out of your Google ad spend. First up, targeted keyword research for search and performance max campaigns. Keywords are the heart and soul of your Google ad search campaigns. Focus on long tail keywords, those highly specific phrases potential customers use when they're close to making a purchase. Here's a simple example. Instead of shoes, try women's running shoes or flat feet shoes or sustainable vegan leather boots. The benefit is that you focus on the bottom of the funnel. These search phrases have very clear intent and we know they're interested in. They're close to buying. So we've reduced wasted ad spend on people higher up in the funnel or earlier in their decision-making process. Additionally, one of the most effective tactics to save on your Google Ads budget related to keywords is to use negative keywords to prevent your ads from appearing for irrelevant searches. This simple step can save you significant money by ensuring your budget is spent on clicks that are more likely to convert. Perhaps you're not familiar with negative keywords. Here's a quick example of why this is necessary in search campaigns. Google provides match types for keywords, broad, phrase, and exact match. Depending on your match type, Google will show your ads to searchers that use variations to the keywords that you added. Broad match is the most lenient and will show your ads to lots of different variations based on the keyword that you added to your campaign. Google understands the search phrases you add are broad match when you enter only the words and nothing else, like this, versus quotes for phrase match or brackets for exact match. Here's the example that Google provides on how broad match works. Let's Take the keyword low carb diet plan. This will match the search terms carb free fruits, low carb diets, Mediterranean diet books, how to cut carbs for beginners, and carb free meals. So you can see some of the terms perhaps you didn't want your ad to show for. Next up is phrase match. This is not as lenient as broad match. Here's a phrase match example, tennis shoes, with quotation marks that indicate it's phrase match. Tennis shoes as a phrase match will show ads to searchers typing in shoes for tennis, buy tennis shoes on sale, red tennis shoes, and comfortable tennis sneakers. It won't show for tennis store or shop for sneakers. We can see it's a bit more restrictive than broad match, and finally, we have the most restrictive match type, which is exact match. Exact match keywords are entered into your campaign using brackets. Here's an example, shoes for men with brackets around it will show for shoes men, men's shoes, men's shoe, and shoes for a man, but it won't show for men's tennis shoes or shoes for boys. So where do you find this in your account? You need to run a search terms report, and here's where you can find that. In a search campaign, on the left menu, click on search keywords, then click on search term, or all of them if you want. Then click on search terms and you will see all the variations your keyword matched to. If any of those don't look good to you, go ahead and add them as a negative. Now you've cut out wasted ad spend on keywords that you don't need. Next, 
Let's talk about compelling ad copy that converts. Your ad copy is a chance to make a first impression. So speak directly to your audience's needs and highlight the unique benefits and features of your product or service. Use strong calls to action. Encourage clicks like get your free quote today or discover the difference. Use ChatGPT or your favorite AI program to help you brainstorm for ad copy. Remember, search campaigns allow you to have 15 headlines with 30 characters per headline and four long descriptions with 90 characters per description. Use all 15 headline options in all four long descriptions and with AI, tell it not to go over the character limits and you'll have your headlines and descriptions written in no time. Once potential customers click on your ad, they land on your website. Ideally, a landing page is designed specifically for that traffic. This is where the real action occurs, conversion, sales, and signups. Ensure that your landing page and pages align with your ads for a seamless user experience. Regularly test and optimize your landing pages to improve performance and maximize your returns on investment. Landing pages are a very important component of successful Google ad campaigns. And here's why. You want as close of alignment between what the searcher typed in and what their intent is with what they see and read when they click on your ad and land on your website or landing page. The goal of a landing page is to reduce friction in the sales process. Often I see people that send their traffic from the ads to the home page. Generally, home pages are not great for landing pages for many reasons. So the problem you will have by using less than optimal landing pages is that you will lose more money on your ad spend. This happens for a couple of reasons. One, Google rewards advertisers for quality. And if you don't have a well-aligned landing page to your ads and keywords, then your quality score from Google will be lower. And as a result, Google will charge you more cost per click. And in the worst cases, this cost per click can be 10 times higher than the cost per click with good landing page alignment. So here's an example. If you're med spa advertising laser tattoo removal, make sure you're landing them on a page that speaks only about that, not your homepage, which has information about all your services. And I have a more detailed video and post specifically about aligning landing pages with Google Ads, and the link to that is in the video description below. Now let's dive into our list of low-budget Google Ad hacks and tips. Number one. Bid strategy optimization. Start with automated bidding to gather data and experiment with manual adjustments. Your bid strategy automation is set at the campaign level. Just click on campaign settings in your search campaign, then on bidding. Ideally, you'll use max conversions as your automated bidding setting, but make sure you have set up conversions in Google Ads first so it knows what to optimize for. Number two, ad schedule optimization, also called day parting. Tailor your bids based on the days and times your customers are most likely to convert. For example, if you know you're busy on Fridays, consider not running ads at all on Fridays. Also, set your ads to run only during business hours if converting leads requires people to call or visit you. This is called day parting, and day parting focuses your ad spend on specific days and times of the week versus running 24 hours per day, seven days a week, which is the default for Google ad campaigns. For more information on day parting, I have a video and a blog post all about that, which you can get in the video description as well. Number three, device bid adjustments. Prioritize mobile or desktop devices based on which drives the most valuable clicks. Perhaps you know the majority of your calls or conversions come in on mobile devices, not desktops. Consider adding a bid modifier to mobile devices so you can capture more of that traffic versus on desktop. Number four, geotargeting. Focus your ads on the specific areas where your ideal customers are located. If you're not sure, you can run a locations report like this to see where the bulk of your conversions are coming from. Exclude those areas that are just burning your budget and not producing results, or add a negative bid modifier to put less emphasis on that particular area. Number five, remarketing. Recapture interest from potential customers who have visited your site before, or bring people that have visited you but have yet to buy from you. The people that are most likely to buy from you in the future are those that have bought from you in the past. You can set up remarketing audiences comprised of people from your own customer lists, people who have visited your site or specific pages on your site, and more. Here's where you can create these remarketing audiences. Just head to the audience manager. 
Number six, experimentation. A-B tests, different ad variations, landing pages, and targeting options. Google even offers the ability to run experiments. You can test ads, keywords, and more. But a word of caution, I wouldn't run experiments unless your campaigns are generating enough data for it to be statistically valid. So if your campaigns are low volume, I would pass on this. Number seven, automation tools. Use tools like smart bidding and automated ad extensions, but monitor results closely. Smart bidding most of the time is your best bet versus manual bidding. Now for automated ad extensions, you need to be careful here. Google will take images and text from your website to create ads. And I have seen the case where it was pulling the wrong phone number and the wrong destination URL and incorrect images. For more information on that, I have a video where I cover how this could go wrong and how to turn it off in the video description below as well. Number eight, competitor analysis. Learn from your competitors' successes and failures to differentiate yourself. Like Facebook, or Meta as it's referred to as now, Google provides advertiser transparency. You can look up other companies to see what ads they are running currently in Google. But keep in mind, it only shows the ads they're running. Number nine, measuring results. Track key metrics like CTR, which is click-through rate, conversion rate, and cost per conversion. This is very important. You need to be making data-driven decisions on your campaigns, which means you need to be setting up your digital plumbing correctly so Google Ads knows what it's trying to deliver to you. Is it more leads, more calls, more appointments? What is it exactly? I also have a video and a blog post that goes into more depth about setting up Google Ads conversion tracking so that you're tracking the right actions that Google can act on. That's in the video description as well. Number 10, continuous optimization. Regularly monitor and adjust campaigns to stay ahead of the curve. Google Ads is not set it and forget it. To maximize your results, continually study your campaign data. Remember, you don't need a massive budget to make a significant impact with Google Ads. You can target the right audience, craft compelling ad copy, optimize your landing page, and outsmart your bigger spending competition. Now it's time to take action. Start implement these strategies today and watch your small business thrive. Stay informed, experiment, and continually optimize your campaigns to achieve lasting results and unlock new growth opportunities for your business. As a friendly reminder as well, please Give me a like on the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more actionable digital marketing tips. And if you need a little extra help with your Google Ads campaign, we can help you achieve Google Ads success. We offer a campaign setup service where we professionally set up your campaigns or we can offer full-blown ongoing ads management. Link is in the description below. Or reach out to me now. Just call me now at 951-444-0174 or email me at toby at 39celsius.com. And until next time, we'll see you online.